Nobody likes ticks. We're going to show you how to eliminate them from your backyard with these tubes next on Now You Know. So we're going to show you how to make these tubes. But to do that, we first have to go back a couple steps and explain to you how ticks work. So let's show you. So a tick starts off as a larva, and it needs a source of blood to feed off of to grow. So to survive, it must find a host to latch onto. Now a larva typically does not carry Lyme disease because the bacteria that cause Lyme disease does not pass from the mother tick to the offspring. So on the first feeding in its life cycle, this is where the tick gets infected. This first host is typically a rodent or a deer, what is called a vector. The vector helps spread the disease. So now after the larva feeds off its first host, it is now dangerous to us people and pets because it could now be carrying the Lyme bacteria. So this is where these tubes come in. Each tube is filled with cotton balls. Now the cotton balls are soaked in permethrin. Permethrin is an insecticide that kills ticks. The work of killing ticks is gonna be carried out by the most common host animal around your house, which are mice. Okay, so mice live everywhere outside and often inside your house. They normally establish a nest and then travel about 50 feet from that nest in search of food and nesting materials. Now, mice love cotton balls for nesting materials. I mean, if you were a mouse, you would too. It's soft and warm, a great material to raise your babies in. So if we place a tube every 50 feet around our house, we can be pretty sure that a mouse from each den will find the tube and bring the cotton back to their nest. So when they bring this permethrin-soaked cotton ball back to the nest, they get the permethrin all over their bodies, which not only kills any ticks that are on them, but also any ticks that will hop on them for weeks to come. So what's so interesting about permethrin is that even after it dries, it stays effective on whatever you sprayed it on. Cotton balls, fur, your clothes. So you can either order pre-made tick tubes, we'll put the link down below, or you can make your own. We'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so you'll need some toilet paper tubes, or you can use tubes from a roll of labels. Basically anything that a mouse can get itself into. You'll need some cotton balls. We got these on Amazon for about $4. And you'll need some permethrin. We got this on Amazon, this 24 ounce container for about 15 bucks. And you'll need some kind of plastic container and a pair of latex gloves. Okay, so now we put on our gloves to protect our hands from the permethrin because it is an insecticide and we don't want to get it on our skin. We pour our permethrin into our plastic container, enough to soak our cotton balls. Next, we take our cotton balls and soak them in the permethrin. You'll want to soak as many as you need to fill your different tubes. And once it's all soaked in there, you can transfer it over to another bowl here to dry. And it's going to take probably a couple hours, depending on how much air you get through here, to dry those out. Okay, so once your cotton balls have dried, which is going to take an hour, two hours, depends on your conditions, you're going to take your tubes, these are some small ones from a uh, roll of labels, and you're going to stuff them in there. That looks pretty good. If you have bigger containers like these um, toilet paper tubes, you'll stuff them in there too. You don't have to stuff them full, you just want to get enough in there that would be interesting for a mouse to grab and bring back to their den. So now all we need to do is place a tick tube every 50 feet in places where we think mice might like to hang out. So now we're placing the tubes around our house. Mice love stone walls, so place tubes there because if you have stone walls, you have mice nests. Also place them near your house's foundation because mice love to find ways into your home's basement and walls to keep warm and you probably have them living there too. Go back and check a few of your tubes in a couple of weeks and you should find that the cotton is gone. That means it's working. You'll want to do this twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. So now you know how to drastically reduce the tick population around your house. Tell your neighbors about it, and before you know it, you could be making a big dent in the tick population in your neighborhood. Now you know.